Okay, so I'm still working my way through the admin beginner uh, module, trail, I should say, and uh, looks like some new modules were added. Um, and the order was changed. As I remember, Salesforce Platform Basics was first, and now it's not. All right, get started with the Salesforce mobile app. Salesforce mobile app customization. Learning objectives after completing this unit, you'll be able to name some of the benefits of using the Salesforce mobile app, explain why it's important to customize the mobile app, find and download the app, choose your working environment for the app, your office, outside, your basement. Oh, that's what it means. Unless you've been hiding in a cave for the past 10 years. <laughs> Lucky you. You probably got so much thinking done. You've probably noticed that we're in the midst of a mobile revolution. I don't know if I like the word of use, revolution. I don't think that word means what you think it means. But I know what you mean, but still. Mobile usage is at an all-time high. In fact, most of us spend much time on our devices. We don't even talk to our friends anymore. Mobile technology has transformed the way we live, learn, travel, shop, and stay connected, sometimes for the better, sometimes not. And the enterprise world is no exception. Starship Enterprise. I don't know if there's an enterprise world, enterprise community, business community, enterprise world. It sounds like a different planet. People want their business tools to be mobile and easy to access. Your employees need to get work done when they're, on, they're going away from their desks while they're in their sleep before they wake up in the morning. Hey, some employees don't even have a desk. Their desk is a car I see in the airplane or the nearest coffee shop or sometimes the bathroom. I'm sorry, that's true. But here's the problem. Despite the pervasiveness of mobile technology, most companies don't haven't been able to deliver on the promise of mobile. Why? Because it's hard to build mobile apps. Promise of mobile. It's harder to build on mobile apps. Do you build for Android or iOS? What tool do you use? I design for multiple screens. What about security? Luckily, you've got the Salesforce mobile app in your bag of admin tricks. We already took care of those pesky development challenges, which means you can reap the rewards of mobile without doing any of the dirty work. Sound good to you? We figured it might. So let's learn more about the Salesforce app. Welcome to the Salesforce mobile app. The Salesforce app is an enterprise class mobile app. Does that remind you of naval ships at all? That provides your users with instant access to your company's CRM data from a phone or tablet. Here are some of the reasons why the app is so awesome. The mobile app is included in every Salesforce license. Yep, you heard us correctly. It's free. Procrastination on your mobile rollout is basically like setting piles of money on fire. The app is plug. plug I mean, I don't mean to be cynical about this, but like it happens to be it's, it's good business for Salesforce because if it increases adoption, uh, then... Right, this is the whole um, sales software as a service business model, which is good for businesses and good for customers. It's a good, it's a good business model, and it makes a lot of sense. But um, the app is plug and play, which means users just download it from the Apple Store, go Google Play, and go. It works out of the box, and no setup is required. It's lightning fast. Seriously. In the time if you could read this paragraph, you could have already installed the app and logged in. That makes me want to read that paragraph faster. The app is cross-platform. So it runs on Android and iOS operating systems like automatically without you having to do any development work. The app has offline capabilities. Your mobile users won't be affected by capricious cellular signals, FAA regulations, subway commutes, 
or bunker style buildings. It isn't an app, it's a platform because the app is powered by Salesforce platform. It's infinitely customizable. You can use point and click tools to make it your own. And if those are enough reasons to fill out of a little brief will do the trick. Okay, smiling now, people using the app. Let's listen to this cool voice. Dial directly into meetings, log tasks, take action on approvals that need your immediate attention. Can you imagine improving like a $10 million bill on your watch? And always keep your opportunities moving forward. You can view service case details and get visibility into... Be right back. And we're back. Sales pipeline and customer satisfaction all while on the go. The feed first experience brings the most important information right to you. Your connected products, legacy data from your back office apps, and all of your files. Even letting you edit Microsoft Office files right from Salesforce. Want a custom app? Build it in minutes with the Lightning App Builder. Teams across every department can create new, personalized, modern apps or quickly install mobile ready apps from the app exchange, the leading business app marketplace. It's time to run your business faster and smarter than ever before with the Salesforce One mobile app. Okay, that was really cool. Sometimes I wonder how cool these things would be without the fun music in the background, but perhaps you're wondering how it's possible. Okay, the magic of metadata. Yeah. Perhaps you're wondering how it's possible that Salesforce app works. It's instantly right out of the box. It's not even in a box. The secret is your metadata. As an admin, you've probably used point and click tools to help you customize Salesforce. Not really, you're just sort of learning right now. But perhaps you've created custom objects. Oh, I've done that already. Tailored page layouts, built list views, and so on. I wonder why this module is coming first on the on this trail. It should come after the platform, I would think. Those customizations become part of your metadata, which is just a set of definitions that describe your particular sales. Set of definitions that describe your Salesforce org. and most of your customizations are automatically available in the Salesforce mobile app because it reads those definitions and displays your data accordingly. But wait a minute. If all of your Salesforce customizations are already available in the mobile app, then why bother customizations? Oh, so if your customizations in Salesforce are also available in the mobile app, then why bother customizing it? The mobile app. Mobile is different. Well, things that work in a desktop environment don't always work as well in a mobile environment. Here's an example. Let's say you added a bunch of custom fields to the opportunity object, which means your opportunity page layout has over 100 fields. Fields get created on objects. I'm still working on this idea. That's fine for a desktop user, but think about a sales rep editing an opportunity from their phone. Shouldn't it be his or her phone? No, yeah, that's awkward, but. They have spotty seller coverage, so they have to wait a long time for enormous page load. Then to edit the three fields they actually want to update, I have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Yuck. That sounds frustrating, doesn't it? But it doesn't have to be that way. You can significantly improve the experience of mobile users by taking the time to tweak a few mobile-specific organization settings. Make the mobile app your own. By customizing the Salesforce app, you can mold the mobile app into a powerful tool that helps your users get work done fast in this module. 
we cover three features you can customize in the mobile app. Whoa. This is all intro. Quick actions, compact layouts, mobile navigations. When you're new to the Salesforce app, it can be challenging to figure out exactly how to use these features to solve problems for your mobile users. So let's learn how to customize the mobile app in the context of a real world scenario. New Dreamhouse Realty. Dreamhouse Realty is a thriving real estate business with 75 brokers. Those brokers are busy. They're constantly on the go, whether they're meeting with buyers, showing properties, or preparing for open houses. D'Angelo Cunningham. The Salesforce admin for Dreamhouse heard about the Salesforce mobile app and he thinks it can help the brokers stay productive when they're out in the field. In this case, field means selling, not like in a field that's built on an object. So D'Angelo did his homework. He talked to his brokers and did a few ride-alongs to find moments where the mobile app might be able to solve their problems or speed up certain processes. After reviewing his notes, D'Angelo identified a handful of the most common tasks his brokers perform on a daily basis. Those tasks are called use cases. Our mobile mission. So what are the mobile use cases D'Angelo identified? Here are the top three things his brokers need to accomplish quickly when they're in the field. Adding a new prospect prospective home buyer, scheduling a new showing, entering a prospective buyer's feedback after a showing. Throughout this module, we'll follow along D'Angelo as he translates those cases into mobile customizations. Now is a good time to start thinking about the mobile app use cases when you're done with this module. Oops, sorry. Head over to stuff. I'm going to remember up. It's full of advice. Well, fine. Cool. We'll do. Get the Salesforce mobile app. Ready to work set by citizens customers? Of course, sir. So go ahead and Okay, fine. Always run the mobile app. Advice needs to be the requirements. Download the app. Okay, I've got that. Choose your working environment. When you log into the Salesforce mobile app, you're automatically connected to your production org. But you can also log into your sandbox, which is the place you can play around with the mobile since If you don't have a sandbox, oh, oh. Okay, I should figure out how to do this. Sales for a spring 17. Okay, maybe that can change. Okay. The Salesforce app does a lot, but doesn't do everything. Be aware there are some differences from the full Salesforce site. Make it a priority to learn about the Salesforce features that aren't in the Salesforce app that have functional gaps or that work differently than mobile. Not funny. Now that sales embrace your mobile future. Now that Salesforce is on your phone, pause for a moment and polish the fact that you're taking the first step in your organization's mobile journey. Exciting, isn't it? Um, the Salesforce app is the perfect place to start. It delivers a ton of value to users right out of the box. And if you take advantage of the customization features explained in this module, you can save your users time and make their lives a lot easier. Warning, they make criteria of joy. Make sure you have tissues handy. And add a bonus with successful mobile launch, it's likely you'll boost in overall sales versus adoption. Yeah. And we know the phrase increase adoption is like music to an admin's ears. So let's get started on the next thing you know how to pick up the quick actions so that they have those effortlessly accomplish important tasks when they're on the road. Fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can play this quest. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Thanks for watching.